Hey everyone, I wanted to make a really quick video today, just as almost a sort of a PSA, that chin strap extenders for CPRN are not all interchangeable. So the reason I'm making this video is because recently I've been going through and kind of improving my CBRN gas mask setup. I wanted to wear my helmet here, and this is a Badger a half high cut ACH uh, made in mid 2017, which will become relevant later. Um, and what I was trying to do is I bought a OpsCore chin strap extender and was just gonna pop it in here and just run it with the gas mask. So if you do this, and this may apply to other helmets as well. I, I just know specifically the Badger because that's the one I got. But what's gonna happen is when you click this in with the ops core, it's gonna go in fine. However, you aren't gonna be able to disengage it. So if you just permanently wanna use your helmet with a gas mask, then good for you, this'll work. However, the issue comes in when you wanna disengage it. So the male end right here on the Badger helmet, the original one, I should say, uh, the issue you'll run into is the headlock system on the ops core. The female ends right here. There is way too much material. So you're going to be able to slide the arms here of the male section in to the ops core chin strap extender. However, you're not going to be able to pop it back out. In my case, I ended up destroying that ops core chin strap extender entirely, uh, which is unfortunate because it, it's well made. And you know, it's just a chin strap extender, but still it was a bit unfortunate um, just to get it out. So to fix this, uh, you have three solutions that I can think of, and maybe you have more if you get really creative. The first and probably most expensive and maybe the most obvious too is to just buy an OpsCore helmet that'll fix the problem. That is outrageously expensive though, and especially if you already have a helmet, I don't see why you would go with that route. The second option is to have your off-brand helmet, whether it's Badger or um, one of the other ones, and if you have, by the way, uh, one of these other off-brand helmets, if you've gone this, and you have gone the same route of trying to set it up for CBRN, do let me know if you've had issues with chin strap extenders as well, because I would love to hear if others are the same way. But then your other solution to get back on topic here, you can replace the suspension system with an ops core. Um, that's also very expensive. Your third option, uh, the most cheapest, though kind of time-consuming, this is the route I went, is I bought several of these these are just completely random chinese fma tactical chin strap extenders that i picked up on ebay what i did was so my very first chin strap extender the ops core was unfortunately destroyed I had to toss it second chin strap extender was one of these fmas i completely dismantled it and took the male and female end of it off and removed them uh, removed the male and female end from the Badger helmet here, replace them with the FMA tactical ones. And then the third chin strap I have, also FMA, that one's intact and that's the one I'm using as the actual chin strap extender. Because the other problem that I ran into is that the FMA tactical, so it's really strange because these are all the exact same dimensions, the straps themselves and the buckles are made for the same dimension of uh, strap and all that, but the ops core, as I said, was already, it, it was just way too tight of a fit. The FMA's issue was it would actually not even hold. So if I were to pull this with the old system, it would just pop out entirely. And I tried dremeling on it, which uh, ultimately only made the issue way worse. So moral of the story is if you are going to be getting into what should be, it really should be a very simple fix. Um, just be aware, uh, do a few measurements and just kind of watch, especially if you did pick up one of the OpsCore ones and you are using a different helmet than an OpsCore. Uh, maybe just go like really slow as you're putting this in and just kind of watch the polymer on the female end. Make sure that you're not going to have an issue with these getting pretty much permanently locked in place. Before I ended the video, I did also want to briefly touch on why you need a chin strap extender. It is pretty much essential if you want to wear a gas mask with your helmet to have the chin strap extender. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to actually strap down the chin strap itself. And you should absolutely be strapping this down. You shouldn't just be wearing it all loose. Uh, it defeats most of the purpose and protective qualities of the helmet. And that it's just going to be rattling around everywhere anyway and be you know, annoying on your head at the least. So I'm just going to go and show that really quickly. Even if you loosen this all the way, it, it's not going to fit over a gas mask. Um, but I wanted to explain that first because it's pretty hard to actually hear me when I'm wearing the gas mask. So I'm going to don that now. 
Another thing I actually found out thanks to buying that Opscore chin strap extender, they had this uh, written on their um, instructions that came with it, as you can actually take the chin strap extender and just strap it to one of your gas mask straps, which works really well. Because then you can't lose it and it's always right where you need it. So as you can see, I have the gas mask on now. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the helmet completely loosened up as much as possible. A little bit hard to see here with the scrim, but you can see that's as far back as it goes. So if you look right down here, there's the chin strap, and that's where it's sitting. I was actually able to close it, however, extremely uncomfortable. This is actually choking me a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the extender on now. You can see already how much extra room I have right here. So then I can actually properly cinch down the helmet here. Now it's still going to, of course, sit a bit further back. It's not going to be on your chin itself, but this holds it on properly and uh, doesn't choke me. So all is good there. And other than that, you should be all good. So hopefully this just really quick, informative, well, hopefully this video is informative, but hopefully uh, it helps someone out there to not need to go through uh, about a month long struggle of uh, ordering several more chin strap extenders and waiting for them to deliver only to find out that there's yet another issue over and over again. The fleece cover from Opscore for chin strap extenders, that works well, but yeah, do be aware of the extender itself and just kind of watch out for that compat compatibility. So thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions. See you.